It's actually poking its nose right above the water. It looks like it's maybe eating something. I'm not sure what's going on. It's called a lumpfish. It has great powers of suction and can actually attach itself right onto uh, rocks and, and uh, probably the side of the glass if you have talked to him into doing it. Ugly. There's a lot to see here just when you come in. And then as we take you through underwater and all the way through that, you know, it's to kind of relax you and make you feel better about your experience. Are there people that have to go in these tanks? Because we'll do dive shows in several different Oh, no kidding. And in, including in this tank? Uh, no dive show at the beginning, but we will have divers there all the time. Well, maintaining it. So it's all man-made. The water is Toronto water that we've added salt to. Oh, it is Toronto water that you've added salt to. So we you're mixing it. 557,000 pounds of salt. And I that assume that's machine done, like it's done by with a computer helping to actually mix the salt in, or how does that happen? Uh, manual labor. Oh, no Our kidding. Our dumped it in, but then machine mixed it. It shows that we're looking at whether it's, it's flow rates or temperature, salinity so dissolved oxygen, the fractionators that remove some yeah, all the waste matter from, yeah. The, yeah. from the tank. So you can actually see it, and you can see the whole back of the house. And of course, we made it brightly colored, so it, it's fun yeah. inside, but everyone wants to see the back house. This way, everyone on their experience gets to see that. Oh, that that's good. I think that's a great idea. And these and red pipes over here are where the water comes in from the city from water the city, supply, yeah. but you're saying you actually, thank goodness for your water bill, you don't use all that much water because you're recycling water all the time and turning it over. We're recycling uh, over 99% of our water, so it actually is. We just recycle it. We take out the sludge from the filter, but the water goes back into the system, gets okay, treated. Okay, so you don't actually have to, because that would be another huge expense if you yeah. had to be replacing yeah, so it once, all the time. Once the initial fill done, the rest of it is recycled. Folks, uh, there's a little tip here. If next winter you run out of road salt, uh, salt for your uh, sidewalk or for your driveway, you can just come down here to the aquarium because they've got a huge supply always on hand. I think we could take the members of City Council and maybe the MPPs from Queen's Park and say, look, if you don't sort out the transit issue within you know, 30 days, we'll bring you over to the Piranha Tank and just maybe have a hand or a foot in there and see if that catches your attention. Don't you think that'll get some decisions made pretty fast? And we actually have a, a, a specialist on corals who had you know, grown up working with corals. So these are then the artificial lights that uh, keep the coral alive in an artificial environment like this and that's the one thing that they thrive on is water and oxygen and this light and it's necessary to keep the coral alive uh, in obviously an environment in downtown Toronto. Uh, Mike Bullard, uh, there's going to be a performance review meeting held uh, in a week or so and since other sanctions have not worked with you before, we have something here if things don't go well that may uh, catch your attention. So uh, we'll be uh, looking forward to your review meeting in just a few days time. It's got really little teeth. They're like little tiny, little tiny teeth, like little wee teeth. And he is looking at me. It's 20 minutes on this moving sidewalk uh, here that uh, we're standing on and it goes around this tank uh, for a 20 minute ride and you get to see all these fish or step off if you want to stand here and watch uh, the fish. It's... How many fish are in this lagoon? We're going to have about 5,000 fish in here plus our 12 species of sharks. 12 species of sharks, and, and the, sh the sharks don't eat the fish, I assume. You've got that all worked out. Well, they're, they're fed three times a week. I'm assuming that these um, tanks are under, like there's some pressure because of the weight of the water and so on, so you really have to be careful how you build these in order to have this uh, be the, the way it is. The weight is huge, yeah. So this is not your ordinary garden variety glass. This is some very special kind of glass that you can see through, but also can withstand the weight. There's only three manufacturers in the world. And in this one, we brought them all, and it came from Japan. And we had to bring the Japanese over to actually install and make sure it all came together the right way. You know what? It's so peaceful the way they, oh, there's another one. Look, there's another sawfish. I'm telling you, I could stand there for 40 minutes and just watch those sharks going around. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada, it's, it's a fantastic thing. You got to arrange to get down and see it. It is, you know, to use that overused expression, world class. The shark exhibit, fantastic. They're swimming all around you. It's a must see, so book a date.